Hello everyone, welcome to Probably Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Salesforce and Google Calendar. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new task is created in Salesforce, it will automatically add an event in Google Calendar. Now Salesforce is an awesome CRM software and Google Calendar is an excellent time management tool. So what we're going to do is, we are going to send the data from Salesforce to Google Calendar. But there is one minor problem. There is no integration between Salesforce and Google Calendar. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Salesforce and Google Calendar. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser, pabli dot com press enter okay so this is the website of pabli dot com here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect click on connect and then click on sign in okay so as you can see this is the dashboard of pabli connect and i already have made an account in pabli connect you can also create your own free account in just two minutes here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Here click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you, it is asking you to give a name to this workflow, I am going to give it as Salesforce to Google Calendar, Salesforce to Google Calendar, okay, then click on create, okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you, this is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Salesforce because we want to send the data from Salesforce. That is why. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new task. Now new task is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new task is made, then what action should be taken by the system? Now there is one more trigger called as the new lead. However, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice or you want to make more triggers according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new task is made in Salesforce. Then click on connect with Salesforce. Okay, so in the new credentials, just again click on connect with Salesforce. Okay, so now Pabli is demanding access. All you have to do is just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Okay, so basically at this point you have integrated Salesforce to Pabli Connect. This means whenever a new task is created in Salesforce, Pabli Connect will capture this data. So at present, I already have made a task in Salesforce. So when I click on save and send test request, it will display the details of the recently created task. Let me show you. So I'm just going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so these are the details related to the task. As you can see, uh, the subject is uh, washing clothes. The status is not started and the activity date is uh, 2021-01-22. Excellent. So let me scroll down and let me see the creation date. So this is the creation date. So how about we create a task here. So I'm going to go to contacts and it will explain you better. So I'm going to create a task for this guy called as uh, Mr. Jenny Jordan. And he is going to create a task. So the subject name is uh, hunting, hunting pigs. Okay, so this is the task and we are going to create a task up to 23 January 2020. Okay, so I'm just going to click on create a task. Okay, a task called as hunting pigs has been created by Jenny Jordan. So let's go to Pabli Connect and let me uh, scroll down and just click on save and send test request. Okay, so when you see the API response, you will find the subject as hunting pigs. This is the activity date that is uh, the due date that is uh, 23 January 2021. Excellent. So now we have to sync all these details to Google Calendar. 
So to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Calendar? Google Calendar. Okay. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create an event? Now create an event is an action event. There are many more action events like create calendar, update an event, delete event. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now similarly, just like the triggers, if you don't find the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to connect with Google Calendar. Okay, so in the new credentials, just again click on connect with Google Calendar. Okay, so now Pabli Connect is demanding access to one of my accounts. So this particular Google Calendar is located in this account. So I'm just selecting this account. Okay, now Pabli Connect is asking me to confirm my choice. So before you click on allow, let me tell you something. Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so on the basis of that trust, just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. Okay, so as you can see, before we sync in the data, let me show you something. So it is demanding the start date time and the end date time. And they have prescribed a particular format. So this particular format is called as the UTC format. Okay, similarly with the end date time, we have uh, the UTC format. So basically we have uh, the dates. Let me show you the dates. So the creation date, so where is our creation date? So this is our creation date. Now this creation date is also in a very different format. Now let's have a look on the account activity date. As you can see, this is this date format is also way different from the UTC format. So basically my point is first we have to convert this particular date and this date into UTC format. Okay, so your obvious question is how I'm going to do that. It's actually pretty easy. Scroll down and here just uh, click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on the plus button, another window opens up. This is another action window. So in this action window, how about we make it as date time formatter because we want to change the format of date time. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as format date only. Okay, so just click on connect with date time formatter. Okay, so for example, in the date, we basically have to map this particular date. Okay, so this is the date that we want to change. Okay, at first, we just want to change this particular date that is activity date. So we are going to change that. So click this. Let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button and just enter the date that we want to change. Since we are going to change the activity date, we selected this and we are going to change this into the UTC format. So the UTC format is this one. So we have selected this and just click on save and send test request. Okay, so we have got the data in UTC format. Excellent. Now, similarly, we have to convert this particular date. So where is that date? Uh, creation date. Okay, so this particular date also into UTC format. So again, just click on this plus button. Okay, so another action window appears and we are going to convert them into another format. So that is why we are going using date time formatter. Now just click on format date only connect with date time formatter. Now in the date, we are just going to select the creation date, this one, and to the format that is the UTC format, this one, and just click on save and send test request. Okay, so we have got the data in UTC format. Excellent. So we have both the creation date and as well as the due date now. Now we are ready to sync all the details to Google Calendar. So before we do that, just again click on connect with Google Calendar. Okay, we are going to select a new credential and again click on connect with Google Calendar. So this is my account. Just click on allow. You already know the drill. Just we are repeating the same process. Okay, so it is successful. Okay, so now in the calendar, it is showing the calendar to which this account belongs to. As I mentioned before, this is the account in which this calendar belongs. So that is why it is already showing it that way. Now in the title, we are basically going to enter the subject that is uh, hunting or it was fishing hunting picks okay hunting picks now in the description we can enter some random details uh, let's keep the priority as description now in the location we can just uh, enter uh, empty we just don't want to have any location so we are not entering anything now in the start date time we are just clicking on this mapping button scroll down okay so and then we are going to use the date time formatted so the, this is the one we have uh, received after formatting the date and this is the result so uh, 
so this is the one i think okay yes this is the start date and similarly we have the end date time so we are just mapping this scroll down and we are going to map the due date that is 23 okay so the start date is uh, today that is uh, 14 january and the end date is uh, 23 is the due date and uh, the time zone okay so we are uh, if we want we can enter the time zone so basically i'm copying this this is the time zone of my area i am from india so that is why it is showing the time zone as asia kolkata you can now actually if you are from different time zone you can just click here and it will expand the different time zones okay in a new tab now the visibility we have to keep it as public so in the guest we are not inviting any guest so we are just uh, going to type this and skip and curly bracket okay similarly in the event occur recurrence rule we are just going to copy this and just uh, enter uh, paste skip okay so basically we have entered all the details so just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing our the data has been sent to google calendar so let's have a look whether we have a, a scheduled event called as hunting okay so the hunting was uh, let me see okay so as you can see we have a calendar hunting picks we have event called as hunting picks okay so excellent so the presence of this event in google calendar shows that we have successfully integrated google calendar and uh, salesforce with help of public connect so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but before we do that let me show you the whole gist of the process so let me go to public connect and let me minimize uh, my trigger window and i'm going to minimize my date time formatter action window again i'm going to uh, minimize my date time formatter action window and then i'm going to minimize my google calendar action window okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated salesforce to public connect and then you have date formatted the date of the start date then you have used again the date time formatter to format the due date into utc format and again you have integrated google calendar to public connect so now there is a perfect flow of data between salesforce and google calendar excellent so how about we make one more task so i'm going back to contact okay so this time uh, the guy is uh, eskan or michael and we are going to give a task so sparrow feeding so this is the new task okay sparrow okay spelling is wrong how about make it as feeding sparrow okay so this is the due date okay let's make it as up to 30 and uh, okay so let's uh, click on create okay so a task called as feeding sparrows has been created so let's have a look in google calendar okay so let me refresh this okay so as you can see we have got the data feeding sparrows so let me tell you something about salesforce salesforce actually takes a significant amount of time to send the data so my point is you basically have to wait five or six minutes to get the results and also let me tell you something that our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new task is made in salesforce it will be reflected as an event in google calendar not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks